coronavirus is the current worst enemy of the generation, one of the dangerous viruses of the time, invisible by naked eyes, untouchable and unidentical. It's high time for the entire world to cooperate and fight the common enemy, COVID-19. The virus is more harmful than one might expect. It doesn't just kill, it affects all aspects of life. On 13 March, Director General of the WHO confirmed 132,000 cases of COVID-19 in 133 countries and territories but today it is a different scenario the numbers are more than 150,000 in 149 countries and territories around the world more than 5,600 people have lost their lives in some countries schools are facing an imminent shutdown Saudi Arabia suspended Umrah and it is unclear how the coronavirus will affect the Hajj various mosques around the world are temporarily closed in many stores, shelves have been left empty due to panic. Many cities are quiet like no one is around. The most beloved league in the world, Premier League, and other famous games are postponed until further notice. President Trump announced a ban on foreign nationals entering the United States for the next 30 days except for the United Kingdom in an attempt to slow the coronavirus outbreak. A tragic milestone. Europe is now the current epicenter of the pandemic with more reported cases and death than the rest of the world combined, apart from China. There is currently no vaccine to prevent the coronavirus disease. You can reduce your risk of infection if you clean your hands frequently, maintain social distance, cover your nose and your mouth when coughing, sneeze with tissue or flex elbow, stay informed and follow the advice given by your health care provider. However, we would like to thank everyone in various sectors, politicians, religious leaders, activists and all health workers for their tremendous work in this difficult situation and call upon everyone to contribute as much as they can. Finally, the World Health Organization, UN Foundation and partners have launched the first of its kind COVID-19 Solidarity Response Fund to enable individuals and organizations to contribute. Please donate now. Thank you.